We've done a really good job of studying cattle as cattle in the absence of economics. We've done a really good job of studying grass as grass. So we've kind of compartmentalized what's really a, a working landscape. The question of what the right grazing regime is, that is the frontier question for ecology, and it's the critical knowledge gap for implementing these management practices. One of the big challenges we're facing out here in the western region is invasive species. So medusa head and goat grass and yellow star thistles are very aggressive. They establish on a site quite well. A lot of these species aren't ideal forage, so you're growing biomass, but it's not really forage. And then they also reduce biodiversity and have other ecological ramifications. So they're a challenge economically, productive-wise, as well as for the environment. Managers, they're dealing with not just the invasive species, but pests. They're dealing with lower amount of pollinators. They're dealing with drought. And in California, it's a drought. It's a wet year. This year is going to flood and there's going to be a lot of erosion issues versus you just had a fire this other year. And so we're trying to understand how to manage our systems to be able to best roll with those kind of uh, changes. There's a strong partnership here in the Central Valley of California, and this project actually came out of us all chatting over the years and saying, well, wouldn't it be great if we have one collective place where we can start pulling apart what works best for what different goals at what site? And the only way to do that kind of sophisticated analysis is to have a database that can pull all of that kind of information uh, together. And so we need a source of funding that allows us to get out here into the countryside. Sarah was a natural place to go to to say, we've got this whole suite of people who are really excited to figure out how do we actually put these management practices into the landscapes. You basically go into the database and there's a map and you can click on sites and it'll tell you what's happened at that site, what's been effective, what hasn't been. Or there's more of a standard search platform. And what we're hoping for is another five, 10 years down the line, there'll also be a decision support tool where I can say, here's where I'm at, here's my goals, what are the most promising management practices? By having so many ranchers that become engaged in this, we're able to better understand how to connect management practices to desired management outcomes um, across different site-specific settings. And we've actually written through the SARE grant a manual for how to measure ecosystem services that does allow standardization moving forward. It turned out by, I don't know if it's misfortune or luck, that the term of this uh, SARE grant happened to be during one of the biggest droughts we've had in California. The drought of a lifetime hit California and we were in it. We thought, well, we should mine this data. That gave us the opportunity to really be looking at what the impact of drought was and how that varied from site to site. What are people doing to prepare for drought and what are they doing during drought uh, to survive? SARE is really focused on questions that address both the research angle and the practitioner angle. It's incredibly important that scientists and ranchers and policymakers work together because the problems that we have to solve, like climate change, invasive species, resiliency to drought, are going to require all of us to bring our A game.